Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be showing you how you can actually do diagnostic uh, on a ProSoft uh, card. Okay, so what I have is uh, a card that's model MVI56E-Mnet card. So um, the two clients that we, we will be using today or is live today is client zero and client two. Uh, client zero has uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven poles in there i mean seven commands and client number two has three commands uh, client number one there's no fault at all but client number three number two has one of them that is bad we'll find out which one which command has bad uh, has fault and how we can identify them uh, you start off by clicking this uh, mvi 56e that mnet a module here then you right click here and you go diagnostic it comes up with uh, a bunch of uh, menus that you can actually look at. Let me go through, let me go through every one of them one at a time. So the module is the very first one. The version number actually shows you the kernel version and what you have installed so far uh, on that, uh, wh whatever versions you have, firmware, MAC address, everything, right? Uh, so it's a good point to show. Uh, I use this for MAC address in particular when I do uh, ARP requests. Uh, it's easy to find out which one has which IP address. Configuration is mostly hard, uh, hard and fast. It's set up uh, according to the configuration. Just a, a confirmation that this is what's been configured. NIC status. Uh, this one it shows you the status of your uh, NIC card. Uh, it's one of the uh, card that is on that ProSoft. The one you're looking for will be link status OK. Static ARP. Uh, we're not going to touch on it here because it's not part of it. Uh, back panel. And the one you only want to look at is back panel status. Make sure they're okay and it's error free. This is what a good uh, uh, back panel setting looks like. So the next section is database. The database pertains to the internal address of the ProSoft card. You can look in, in terms of ASCII, decimal, hex, and float. Uh, it goes from 0 to uh, 10,000 if memory serves me right. Uh, so I use uh, 1000 all the way to 1300. So if I go hex here, this is database 0 to 99. So if you scroll down, you can actually see all the all the uh, data that's in that particular internal address. So if I were to go down, I'm, I'm supposed to go down to 1000. There you go. So if I go to 1000 range or even 1300 yeah these are the areas that I'm using to store my uh, data that's why you can see some numbers in there uh, again it can be represented in floating decimal or ASCII if you need to be it's a good diagnostic tool as well next will be the mnet server if you click on the status here so this one pertains to the two ethernet port in front of the uh, MVI 56E. So it tells you if, if any uh, requests have failed or whatnot. So far, there's no problem at all. So now let's go to the client. So I said, I did say that client zero is working fine. So I'm not going to touch config. I'm going to go status here. This is what a good communication looks like. You can see that the current error is zero and the last error is zero. This will show you the error code that's faulty and the thing that you have to look for is that the current command here this should cycle from one to seven i guess i got seven uh seven command lines that's why it makes sure that all seven are coming in here command list is actually the list of all the commands that's being uh, configured and set up you can actually scroll one command at a time that's command zero it starts with zero, by the way, it's a zero base. Command zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And of course, number seven is empty because it goes from zero to six to get seven commands. And if you go to command status, this is what a good command status looks like. Everything should be zero. If there's any issue with any of the 15 commands, a number will appear here. Let's go down to uh, mnet client two, uh, which has an issue. So this is what the a client with a command issue. You can see that it has an error code of two. The last error code is two. I've got uh, three command line. It should cycle from zero to one, 
zero one two one zero you can see everything is coming in but it doesn't tell you which command is giving an issue so in order to determine that you'll go to command status you know that command number two is having an issue that's how you determine that you have an issue with your command and if you go to your command list zero one two we know that command two has an issue that's why you can see the error code as two here but the rest of the commands are showing zero for status so the way how we debug will be go back go back to your client two, right click and configure and try to determine what's wrong with this particular line alternatively you can double click and just disable it and then download it click OK give it a few seconds to uh, update and after that try going in here diagnostic again and then try to note and see if command status 2 is giving issues or not you can see it is clear so um, all I did was I disabled the com on that uh, it's not really solving the problem but uh, at the end of the day you still have to fix it and determine why this thing is causing issue it could be that the modbus address is not available or there's wire issue configuration is not correct on the modbus slave whatever the reason is you know where to start debugging from I hope this uh, quick tip will help you uh, other than that, have a great day.